Hi, this is Felix of Cranker.com, and today we'll be talking a bit about the Dell Inspiron Xeno HD and its use as a home theater PC, or HTPC in short. The Xeno HD, as you can tell, is a Mac Mini-like small form factor desktop PC outfitted with an energy efficient AMD Athlon mobile processor. The reviewed system in this case comes with a dual core AMD Athlon Neo X2 6850E processor clocked at 1.8 GHz. Other system specs include 2 gigs of RAM, a 250 gig SATA hard drive, integrated ATI Radeon HD3200 gra graphics, a DVD burner, and integrated 2.1 HD audio. Now one look at this Xeno HD, and it's, not re it's really not too hard to imagine this PC sitting right at home in your living room environment. It has an HDMI connector in the back, which makes it extraordinarily easy connect to connect this desktop PC right to a home theater system. Let me zoom back for a second. We have the Xeno HD here connected to our Onkyo receiver, which then pipes, there's my Onkyo receiver right there, which then pipes the video to this 46 inch Samsung LCD HD TV set. Right there you see the Windows 7 desktop. Um, we're running Windows Vista, I'm sorry, Windows 7 Ultimate right now on this, although the box did come with Windows Vista Home Basic um, just because we, we didn't want to spend a whole lot of money initially. Now, upgrading to Windows 7 was a breeze for anyone who has a copy of Windows 7. Um, Dell provides all the necessary drivers to make this happen. Now the real question is, can this inexpensive PC actually handle home theater PC duties under Windows 7? The answer is definitely a yes, with some minor caveats, given the, given the uh, low power processor inside. Now our setup here actually comes, I have a, an extra Microsoft uh, infrared re remote control receiver, so we have that the Xeno HD outfit with that receiver, and I have a Windows Media Center remote control, um, which I don't really show here in the video. Now, <clears throat> pressing the green button will bring up the Windows Media Center interface on the Windows 7. There we go. So I'm going to navigate through this, you know, through the entire user interface. Now, you know, as you can see, the system is relatively responsive when I'm navigating through everything. So we don't have any um, TV or you know, any TV capture card set up right now. So unfortunately, we don't have a guide or a core TV working. But if we click in for a second or select in, this is the relatively, you know, speed and performance of the Windows 7 Windows Media Center interface under Windows 7 with the Xeno HD. This is a sample TV program which will play back that comes with Windows 7. There's a slight sluggishness there for a second. Very slight. Um, actually, normally playback doesn't have any sort of sluggishness there, so I was kind of surprised to see that. Um, we don't have any music in installed here on the system yet, but you know, music should not be a problem at all. Uh, those of you familiar with the Windows Media Center interface will notice that this is actually pretty smooth for Windows Media Center, at least on a low power machine. Now, the real question is. What's video playback like? And so to to uh, test that, I copied a series of 720p and 1080p videos onto the Xeno HD to test the playback capabilities of the box. Um, so first off, you know, so you'll see a lot of um, movie titles here. Let's bring up Star Trek, which we have here in 720p. This is the series Star Trek. Now, keep in mind, I don't have a Blu-ray drive connected to this, so everything is running directly off of the hard drive. We'll fast forward a bit. So again, this is a 1080p display, 46 inches. I have a full 7.1 channel Akio receiver system set up here. Audio is a little low right now. So audio and video is being transmitted over the HDMI connector. And here we are, we have the uh, Star Trek playing in full effect and full HD. Uh, we're actually upscale to 1080p right now, but it's a 720p video clip. Now I'm going to go back out and bring up up. You'll notice that the user interface is slightly sluggish as I'm playing this this media. Not not too, not too unexpected given the fact that you know we're doing the system is low power and it's playing back 720p video and it's got to navigate through this user interface. We'll bring them up, which happens to be encoded in 1080p. Let's fast forward this a bit. 
you know, seeking through the file is, is somewhat sluggish at times. Again, that's somewhat you know, understandable. Here we seem to have, uh, it's still catching up to all the fast forwards that I did. And finally, we are there. Now, in terms of you know, just the ability to play back any practically any video file, the, the Xeno HD just is wonderful for that. Finally, let's go to Terminator Salvation. Um, now, again, the system is slightly sluggish now because of the fact that I am playing video in the background. Let's resume uh, from wherever it was I left off here. Still in the beginning of the movie. This is seven, a 720p video clip. Okay, so with that said, we'll, we'll go back to the top. So unfortunately, you know, we haven't had, we didn't have any time to test the video capture with the Xenu HD. Um, but from what I've heard on the internet, the system should be able to handle at least one, if not two streams of HD content uh, of capture. Now. We're waiting, we'll be testing this a little bit later on, uh, once I upgrade the hard drive on the Xeno HD. Right now it comes with a 250 gig hard drive, I'm planning to put a one terabyte drive inside. And then, you know, see what happens if we try to capture two streams of HD content from our HD home run. Now, the other annoying feature of the, well, not so much feature, but the you know, annoying aspect of the Xeno HD is the inability of the screen or the graphics card to completely fill the display. You'll notice a slight black band all around the edge of the display. We played around with all the driver settings, downloaded the latest set of ATI drivers, and unfortunately we're just not able to adjust or stretch the picture completely to fill that entire 1080p display. Um, it's a minor quibble, but it's there, so it's annoying at times. Just be aware of that. I've yet to try this on a 720p display. Um, we'll try that too. I've heard, I read reviews elsewhere that um, some people were having problems getting the Xeno HD to completely fill the 720p screen. So we'll make sure to go back and test that out. And what about flash playback, some of you are wondering. No problems there either. Of course, we installed the latest Adobe Flash 10.1 beta, but you know, once we, once we had that running, HD content from both Hulu and YouTube were streaming just fine. So, in summary, the Xeno HD is definitely the most viable and expensive candidate for a home theater PC. Those of you with cramped quarters will truly appreciate the small form factor of the PC, and those of you that want a full-fledged PC in the living room will most certainly appreciate the Xeno HD, if not for the cost factor. Um, the review system we got, we actually purchased on sale on Black Friday, it came out to 279 um, with the dual core AMD Athlon Neo uh, X2 Neo processor. So, thanks again for everybody for viewing this video. Make sure to visit us at crunker.com as well as our netbooktech.com website. And uh, we wish all of you happy holidays.